Oh, I'm back from vacation, vacation, vacation. I want to go back. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Fitness Friday. Uh, welcome back to Fitness Friday. I'm here to go over my journey, my fitness plan, my journey for the week, everything in between. All right, so let's talk about it. Okay, so I went out of town uh, last week. That's why there was no Fitness Friday. Although I, I, I could have put it up, but I didn't. Uh, so... I went to a CrossFit gym. I, yes, I'm one of those crazy people. I still work out even on vacation. I don't take any breaks the way I like to eat. And also too, when you go on vacation, you're bound to like put on weight because you eat more and do less than you normally would. So I still work out. It was only three days, but it was nice. I went to the Emerald City, what was it? Emerald City CrossFit in Panama City Beach. It was nice. I got a lot of great tips, met some great people. I even met another content creator, very nice guy. He's on a journey as well. And he's just awesome. Uh, uh, he's on TikTok. Uh, was it Big, uh, Big GG66? I'll put the link in the description, but he's on TikTok. Go check him out. Go like and follow him. Let's go ahead and get into that uh, the fitness video. Let's do it. So you got a little viewing of the different types of workouts. I got a lot of great tips doing um, really well there. I even worked, did my other exercise within the room. It was nice. Uh, we had a very good time. We didn't do anything. <laughs> Not for real. We just relaxed and just enjoyed ourselves. It was in the moment. Yeah, eating was kind of all over the place. Uh, not really. I mean... I made smoothies, I ate, I went out. That's why I work out, because I just know I'm gonna eat how I normally wouldn't eat. Um, we had a good time. But speaking of eating, before we get in the middle of the day, or middle of the week, I'm starting to think maybe me doing smoothies is not actually helping me, because I've been doing that for years and I'm not really losing anything. And I'm, with the hip hop workout that I do, there is a nutritional group and they give out meal plans and stuff like that. And I've joined it before and they have some great recipes. I just don't ever follow through with it. I just do my own thing or I take what I like and do the smoothies in between. But I think the smoothies is actually keeping me from getting my weight down. And what I mean by that is, I drank the smoothie in the morning. I have it with some peanuts, but like an hour later, I'm hungry. And then it causes me to snack more and I'm trying not to snack. So I feel like if I just ate something to be getting more filling, I wouldn't overeat. And I think that's what's causing me to keep up with the same weight. Uh, I'm trying to stay off the scale. I did weigh myself. I was supposed to do an update. Uh, my weight got down to... 254 but I know after the vacation it went up <laughs> back to what it was originally 
So I'm working, you know, but you know, your weight fluctuates. So I'm, I'm not worried about it. I know I can get it back down, but I think I'm going to try other eating habits, not necessarily dieting. Now I do love my smoothies. They make me feel good, but I'm going to have to at least start my day off with a better, more fulfilling meal. That way it'll hold me over and it kind of offsets the whole day and I'll, I'll eat less, uh, when I drive and say like, if I get like a biscuit or like an egg and cheese biscuit, like I did that a couple of weeks ago, I was full the whole day off of that one biscuit I didn't eat and I won't eat anything else. I It just holds me over. So I think I need to eat differently. Not saying I'm going to eat a biscuit, but just eat something more filling than my smoothie. And maybe have my smoothie later, like in between meals or at the, or it's my last meal. It's weird for dinner. I can have that and go to bed and, and be fine. Uh, I just got to get it in there somehow. But I, I feel like I need to switch up what I'm eating. And maybe I will see changes. Because you know how they say you keep you can't keep doing the same thing over and over and expecting change. And, and that's what's been happening. I've been doing that for years. And it's not really getting me anywhere. So I need to try something else. Any tips or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section. <laughs> Uh, but let's go ahead and get in the middle of the week. Let's check it out. This week on middle of the week, we have portobello pot roast vegetarian style. Duh. Anyway, these are the ingredients I'll be using this week. First, we're going to get our potatoes cut up. Then carrots, celery, and lastly, onions and garlic. Next, we'll add all those vegetables to the crock pot. Next, we're gonna take some vegetable broth and add three cups. Next, we're gonna add some cooking wine. Next, you have the Whiskershire sauce. This is a vegetarian brand that I got offline. You add two tablespoons. Next is tomato paste. Next, we'll add our portobello mushrooms. Next, we add thyme and salt and some pepper. After you add your seasoning, you stir everything up. Now, I cook this on high for like four to five hours. Make sure your crock pot is set and you forget it. Next, towards the end, right before it's finished, you want to add some broth and some cornstarch. And you want it to be a little thick. Of course, you mix it up to its to dissolve that cornstarch. Next, you'll add it to the pot. Just give everything a stir. And let it cook for like, cook down for one more hour until it's thicker. Now, I serve this over noodles over egg noodles, it was quite delicious. And this is it, and this is the mail. Hope you enjoy, see you next week. <clears throat> All right, so that was fun. Um, middle of the week, at, at the moment, I, it's not it's not crossing my mind on what it was. <laughs> I made it probably like two weeks ago. I, I'm making, uh, I can't wait for next week's middle of the week. I. I actually thoroughly enjoyed uh, it's this orzo pasta that my friend gave me and the first time I made it I forgot to record it <laughs> I was so into it and it was so good so I, I can't wait to make it again um so like going forward like I said I'm gonna really focus on what I'm eating um, a little bit more or just eat more fulfilling meals and I think that will keep me from snacking because I'm trying not to snack as much. And it's hard. And I'm trying to fast too. And that's hard to do too because I'm up so early and then I go to bed late. Like sometimes I'll come home and just be wired. It's like I'll be at work and be tired for half the morning. And then as soon as I come home, I'm wide awake. I, or sometimes, sometimes I get here and I'm really tired and I'm trying to like make videos and stuff and I'm falling asleep on the couch, especially in this room. This room is like slightly warmer. 
um so if it's a little chilly in the house and i come in here and it's like perfect perfect temperature i will pass out <laughs> i will be asleep me and the cats we've been here taking naps <laughs> so i did get a new uh waist trainer i got it it's called from chrissy chrissy k out of atlanta georgia she called me personally i think yeah um uh, no she introduced herself as that person i just looked her up and um i just got her product and i love it maybe i'll review it on the next video but i wore it today for the first time i felt very comfortable uh i actually don't mind the waist trainers because they give me back support and i love that um i have some back issues so it it felt really good for me i like that it covers the whole whole body whole rolls everything <laughs> trying to get this stomach down that's you know everybody's always telling me oh you're looking so skinny and i'm just like okay thank you i, I don't see it yet but i need to stop down to myself i'm i'm putting in the work i am losing weight i can tell because I need a belt with all my pants. I have to, if I don't, they, they shimmy shimmy. <laughs> that is all this week for Fitness Friday, as I know it's not as entertaining. So the quote we're gonna end with today, this is simple, I didn't even have to look it up. It's just, the song has been going through my head all day. If you first don't succeed, pick yourself up and try again. That's from Aaliyah. <laughs> I love that song. But anyway, uh, so don't give up on yourself. Never quit. Never surrender. Um, so yeah. Okay, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow. And tell your friends about me, okay? Come back. All right, see you next week or the week after. I'm, I'm trying. Bear with me. See you next time. Bye-bye.